along such roads, Italy moves forward to Addis Ababa. And perhaps it isn't surprising that you can't see the Abyssinians for dust. And after the advance comes the road making, and every sort of gardening implement from the small boy's bucket and spade to these giant power driven grabs comes into action to make Abyssinia fit for civilized Italians to live in. And gardening tools aren't the only things they use. They also have miniature railways. With the rains expected any time now, concrete makes foundations proof against the flood waters. They say that the camel hasn't got much brain. But all the same, we wonder what he's thinking. With roads like this, Italy maintains her communications. And if it really is true that the Abyssinians always walk barefoot, there'll be plenty of dirty sheets tonight. And now all they need are a few militia beacons. Meanwhile, in Italy, Mussolini is doing a bit of gardening himself. He feels he must draw the line somewhere, and plowing a furrow is one way. He'll have to keep straight on this job, and does.